Hi guys, Carmen here from Plinka Graphics. On today's video, we will be showing you how to use printable HTV from She Shed Vinyl. All right guys, and today we are going to be working with She Shed Vinyl, and this is a HTV printable vinyl. This is what people use when they are going to put a picture of a person on a shirt, kind of like when you do graduation shirts, uh, when you do the rest in peace shirts with the person's picture on it. Um, I love to use this when you're doing an image that has a ombre finish to it, when it goes from one like dark color and it goes into a lighter and a lighter and a lighter color. This is perfect for those. Also, when you're doing an image that has a lot of colors in there, when you don't want to do seven or eight layers of colors, this is great for that. And as you can see here to my side, it works great for light color garments and dark color garments. Let's go over to the computer desk and let's get started. All right, guys. So now what you do is you take a good quality picture. Remember, megapixels are super important. The clearer the picture is, the better your image is gonna look on your shirt. So what you do is, we are using our Cricut Explorer 2 for today. What you do is you go over to your Upload button, you go to Upload Image, you go to Browse, and then you look for the picture that you want, and you hit Open. It's going to take you to a new selective um, area where it's gonna ask you if you want simple, moderate, or complex. Go ahead and click on the complex and go to continue. Here's where you're going to clean up your image. This is very important. Sometimes you have an image where you want just the person and not the surroundings around you. So what you do here is you click on everything around that you do not want, even in the little areas um, that you can see and maybe other people can't see, but you click everything that you don't want once you have cleaned up your area, you go ahead and go to apply and continue. This is super important. If you save it under cut, it's only going to cut the silhouette of your picture. And so here is where you have to choose print and cut. You are going to name your image. After you do that, you click upload. It will upload it to your mat. No, it will upload it to your images. You click on that image. Here's the sizing that I want. And you go to Add to Canvas. Once it's in your canvas, you will select what size you want it. It's gonna pop up. Some images are gonna be small, some images are gonna be big. But I do wanna remind you that when you are doing a print and cut, the sizing in the printer is uh, eight and a half by 11. So you can't go any bigger than that. Also keep in mind that when you print it, Cricut does this real cool thing where it does the black mark around your image and that's for your, machi your machine to recognize it. So um, if you have a silhouette, you will manually have to go back and put the line on there yourself. All right, once you have um, shortened your image to fit your HTV, your She Shed HTV printable vinyl, you are going to go ahead and click on Make It. And here is where you are going to see that black line that I was talking about. And this is so that the machine can recognize the lines on the left, the right, the top, and the bottom. Once it detects those lines, it will know where to cut. So super important that you have that black line around your image. Here, we are going to go, see how on the material size this is 8.5 by 11? All right, so once you have this on here, you are going to go ahead and go to continue. And you are going to put send to printer. You are going to find your printer. Once your printer pops up, you're going to put add bleed. Add bleed adds an extra little layer line around your image so that when it cuts, it cuts in between there and it's not too off 
of your image. So once you put add lead, you go ahead and click print. If you start printing out your picture and see these little lines on your image, go ahead and stop your printer. And what you are going to want to do is go to settings. You are going to want to go to settings. You're going to want to go to maintenance and you are going to want to go ahead and do a test print. When you do a test print, it's going to show you breakage in your lines. That means your heads are clogged. So what you are going to want to do is run maintenance on those. Once you run the maintenance on those, everything will get unclogged and then it will reprint like this and everything will be perfectly fine, no breakage in your lines, which means your printer is ready to go. After it looks like this, go ahead and reprint your image. All right, now that it's printed, you are going to want to line it up with your mat as close as possible on those lines. It's ready to be put into your machine. Settings for this will be iron on. Now we go ahead and click on our cut. This is where those black lines are going to tell the machine where our image is. will now start cutting around your image so that way you don't have a full square or rectangle for your image and that's it you remove your image this is where it gets a little fun. So for this one in particular, it is a peel and then stick. What I like to do is peel off the extra stuff first. As you see, I went from a corner and I'm just gonna peel the extra stuff, weed out all the extra stuff first. There's that extra stuff. I also cut this in here. So I'm gonna peel this stuff off. I also peeled, so took this part off. So there we go. There's our image that we are going to put on our shirt. The easiest part would be to get your sharpest weeding tool. Just kind of go underneath it from anywhere. Here is where you just very gently, because as you see, it is very, very thin, very thin. So you gotta be very careful so that you don't rip your image. Once you lift the little tab there, you just grab it and pick it right off. Like I said, be very careful. There it is guys, ready for our press on our shirt. Ready, let's go over to the heat press. All right guys, when you are using a printable HTV, you, it doesn't come with that clear sheet that regular vinyl comes with. So what you want to do is make sure that your heat press is covered with a Teflon sheet. 
um, so that way you don't burn your uh, printable HTV. Now that we have our shirt here in place, we are going to want to press it for just a couple seconds to get that moisture out. Once we have that moisture out, this is where you are going to want to be quick because once this starts getting heat, it will start curling up on you and you don't want that. So find where you want to put it. I want it right there and go ahead press for the 30 seconds. This is 350 degrees for 30 seconds on a firm pressure. Very important, the firm pressure. All right, and there it is, you guys. This, like I said, it does not have a clear sheet on top, so there is no need to peel off anything. Thanks for watching today's video on how to use printable HTV from She Shed Vinyl. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for future videos. See you guys next time.